Hello everyone and welcome to Spoon Suite. We need animations to pop up whenever a player enters a new area and whenever they eat something or gather something depending on your game. Create a new node, find the canvas layer and we're going to name this Overlay. Save your scene and then go to Project, Project Settings, find Auto Load Find your path, connect it, and add it to your auto loaded scenes. Now we're going to be animating the pop ups. Create a new node, name it location, and another node, name it pop up. That's our pop up. For our location, we need a sprite. Since I have two locations from this one, I've created two sprites that show this. Go to animation, two frames, and I need the first frame. Lining it to the side, and then we add an animation player. This animation player needs a new animation. Pop. And I have found that five seconds is a nice amount of time for this to show perfectly. Go to Sprite, Transform, and key our position. Then we also want to drag this, the fifth second mark, and key our position there as well. Going to the first second, we need to click Alt and move this up here, and key again. Then move our time to the side, to, number, to the fourth second, select our key and click duplicate keys. Okay, so let's see how animation goes. It moves, it stays, and then it goes down again. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing for our power ups and be right back. So now we have both done, what we need to do now is activate them by code. To do that, go to your overlay, attach a script, and here we're going to create two functions. The one will be location pop, and the other one will be power pop. Both are going to be similar. We need to access our animation. So we check location animation player, fantastic, click play and the animation you want to play. And then again here, animation player, here it says location, we don't want that one, we want to access the power up, animation player and click play and it's animation. Save that one now and we go back to our world. We need to create an area 2D that's going to handle our location. I like to call it area to see, collision, and add a shape here to the side. Okay, so this will be our entry point. Save that one, and on your node, collect uh, select the area to D, click body entered, and connect it with your world. So what we need to do now is, if the body is the player, so if body name equals player, equals equals player, overlay, lock, pop. So you go to your overlay and you play this animation. Let's save that one now. And then again, we need to find our banana and do the same thing here. We find our code and we need to do what? If the player, if the, uh, the player eats the banana, we need to find their overlay and call the function power pop. Let's test. Okay, the player enters. There it appears. Banana cave. Banana, banana cave. And we the banana. And the other pop up appears. Now you can see the banana cave keeps appearing every time. So depending on your game, maybe you want that, maybe you don't. Let's see how we can stop it from appearing each time. What I usually do is, on my world, you can see this, area 2D is a tile of the world, 
So I need to go to my code and say, where it enters, of course you're gonna call it first, but then you're going to select it. So what was it called? Area to see, and then Q Frida. Test again, now it should be able to appear only when I enter once. There we go, banana appears, so let me zoom in, it's gone, and then, oops. Okay, so I found the issue, I had this on loop. Let's unloop it and go again. Move to the side, it appears, let's see the banana as well, and then it should disappear. We can now use the same uh, system that we've created to update it anytime a new area is entered. Let's say here we have this area up here and we are going to change that from our overlay. You can either use a same sprite as I have done with two locations or you can add as many more as you wish or you can make a new sprite and add it there. For this one we're going to be using our frame uh, our sprite frame so if I change the frame here you can see it changes down here to do that we need to change the, our function so this function so far carries no values now we're going to have it receive a value what will this value do we will use it to access our sprite remember we're working on location now so location sprite click frame equals our value and we're going to do the similar thing down here for our sprite on our power-ups frame equals our value the only difference is we now need to go and change whenever we call these functions on our code and update them respectively so we need our area oregano what will happen here connect this body entered our world we copy the same thing from before but now instead of an area to see we need the area to oregano q3 and then remember our function now carries a value so let's call it since our overlay uses this banana sprite is the frame one and the other one is zero we're going to respectively change them here so the area is this this is the banana and this is the oregano and save it and let's do the same thing for our player so whenever a banana is eaten we check and send the zero one and then whenever the oregano is eaten we need to change the overlay to powerpoint one so if we go to my oregano if it's eaten, I need to add one. So testing out the game. First, we're gonna walk into the area, the pop-up appears. I eat the banana. I have the double jump now. Double jump. Oregano Grove is entered. I can jump up and down. So nothing happens, I eat the oregano, my other up, uh, upgrade comes out, and now I can create, destroy these crystals. And remember, you can also add text and other visuals with your animation. Uh -huh. 